What's going on guys, McSkillet here with another CSGO video and today we're going to be doing a really risky trade up contract trying to get the new Stat Track Factor new R8 Revolver Fade and um, yeah I basically put together a set of a bunch of skins to trade up that would be able to get this to me, get the factory new Stat Track one at the lowest price and um, what you can actually do is you can get a Stat Track Factor new R8 Revolver Fade by trading up um, minimal wear and field tested skins, like I don't even have a single skin here that's factory new, but um, it's basically just abusing the fact that the R8 revolver has a 0.40 float value maximum, which um, basically can, means you don't have to use all factory new skins to trade up to a factory new one. And uh, I won't talk more about the trade up contract stuff because I know people get really upset if I take a while to get to the trade up, but I have two other videos that completely explain how the wear values work and um, how you can determine the um, condition of the skin you'll get in a trade up so you can check those out if you want but we're gonna get into this trade up and um, so we can either get like a f I think it's like a field tested or a, probably a minimal wear um, M4A4 Royal Paladin which would be wouldn't be very good we really want to get the R8 Revolver Fade because if we get that it's factory due which is worth like 400 bucks right now so that would be quite nice and I already have a pretty nice M4A4 skin but I do not have a nice nice R8 Revolver skin so um, yeah, we're gonna get into this trade up. I'm gonna cross this out right here. And um, yeah, this is actually gonna be really profitable if I get the fade one. I made sure I didn't buy anything for too expensive and I made sure to only buy field tested and minimal wear skins. Um, so we'll still, but we'll still be able to get a factory new R8 revolver. And uh, yeah, so um, I really don't know what to expect. 50-50 chance, I believe for um, either skin from the collection, and oh, we got the R8 Revolver Fade, Stat Track, oh wait, wait, okay, Stat Track Factor New, that is dope, I believe there's probably like less than 50 of these in the world, maybe even less than 20, there's only 4 on CSGO Exchange, but a lot of people are selling theirs on the market. And um, there's actually like different fade patterns and stuff that you can get on these. This one doesn't look like a very nice fade, but um, I'm probably gonna have a video out on all the different patterns for the R8 Re Revolver Fade as well as the R8 Revolver Amber Fade. I'm gonna try to work with some people to get all the patterns like mapped out for those so you guys can understand the patterns on the new Revolver skins because they actually do have some new patterns, but that is pretty sweet. Um, actually, let's go try this out in game. There's probably not too many videos of this yet because Snap Track R8 Revolvers are super expensive and I'd like to show it off to you guys. Alright, so this is what it looks like in game. Unfortunately, the stat track meter doesn't really show up too well on the R8 revolver, which is a little bit unfortunate. Maybe it's just because I'm using the classic view model. Um, I'm not sure what it looks like in the standard, but I actually would assume it wouldn't even show up um, as well as it does here. But uh, yeah, maybe you could like try to change your view model, but it does show up completely if you're like inspecting it or reloading the weapon, but it's kind of hard to see when you're just holding it. Um, with the stat track meter, but this skin's like 400 bucks on the Steam market right now for stat track factory new, and you can trade up to it using only field tested and minimal wear skins if you like plan it out properly. So, yeah, and um, the R8 revolver is really, really damn good right now. Um, I'm expecting it's going to be nerfed, so I, the price for this skin might go down because it's it's a little bit ridiculous at this state. Like it's it makes that so there's no point in like ecoing, and pretty much everyone just uses this gun. It seems like. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys, though, and I'm Mixkillet, and I'm out.